Welcome to this DaVinci Resolve Fusion Node Breakdown. Today's node is the Cineon Log Node. So we're going to jump into Fusion and we've got some B-Raw footage in here. And uh, <laughs> this is some B-Raw from uh, my uh, stepdaughter's wedding with the wedding party on their little party bus. So in order to do anything with this footage in here in Fusion, we need to make sure we're working in a linear format. So we always want to take anything that's in log format, change it to linear format, and then change it back to log if we need to. But before we uh, actually go, this uh, footage is pretty unstable. And I know it's kind of common if we're in the edit page to go use this stabilize button. And you could, like we could use a camera gyro info to stabilize it and it worked pretty good. But the problem is it doesn't transcribe into fusion. So this would still be unstabilized even if we stabilized it in the edit tab. So before we go any further, I'm going to stabilize this real quick. So I'm going to bring in a Mocha Pro node. And launch Mocha. All right, so I'm going to grab a couple of tracks in our footage here. And I'll probably grab this right here. And I'm going to go down here and hit the add button. And I'm going to grab this up here. And add one more and I'll probably grab this little area. Track that. And I'm just going to track scale rotation shear and track forward. And now we got our track. Looks good. We're going to jump in the stabilize. And I'm just going to do X, Y, and rotation. And I'm going to give it a full second, 24 frames to look ahead and stabilize it. All right, then we're going to export, copy to clipboard, save this, and we're going to shut down Mocha. Disconnect that. We hit Control V, paste our track or our stabilized track. Delete that first one, and we're going to input our footage. Go up to Operation, Match Move, and I just want the foreground. So there we go. There's our stabilized footage. <laughs> it's kind of crazy. So in order to do anything in here, we need to uh, change everything to linear. So we're going to add a Cineon log and connect it to our footage. So what the Cineon log node does is it converts uh, log camera formats to linear gamma. So any camera that shoots log, it's going to change. I know it says Cineon log, but it does tons of different log types. So up top, we've got our depth and it's by default set in auto, which is fine, but you can change it to uh, integer 8, 16, float 16, or float 32. And down here, your two modes are your log to linear and linear to log. Since we're changing from log to linear, we'll leave it there. And if you're actually working on Cineon log, you have multiple settings down here. So if you're working with real Cineon, which this is not, you can change your levels and you can uh, change your soft clip knee. You can change your film stock, your conversion gamma. And if you actually have conversion table that was sent with the footage, you can browse for it and load it up. Up here at the lock RGB, if you unclick that, you have the ability to change all that info for all your color channels. 
So we're going to change our log type. And I believe this was shot on a Blackmagic Pocket 4K because I definitely wouldn't have given a bunch of drunk people an expensive camera to shoot <laughs> B-roll on a party bus for a wedding. So Blackmagic Design Film, there we go. So now we've got that switch to a linear format. So we can add whatever we need to add in between. So let's go ahead and add something. We'll add some text up here. And we're just going to say, uh, drunk people. There we go. Let's change that color a little bit. So now we've got our footage in there with our uh, extra effects that we were throwing on the footage. And we need to bring that back as our log data. So what we do is we copy this, paste it. And on our Cineon log, our second one, we're gonna go from Instead of a log to lin, lin to log. So now we're back to our original uh, log footage. But uh, I don't like those words because I kind of like the drunk look on the, uh, the camera footage. So what can we do? We can take this tracker and actually disconnect it. And we can input our tracker to the text. And we can go background only. So now our text is following our footage. But uh, let's change that location. Let's find the furthest spot is down. Let's move this down. Move it over. There we go. So now we got our footage with our additional info all set up. And now this is open for you to do any color grading or anything you have to do with the effects that you put on because when we transcribed this, it's also taking this text and going from linear to log. So now if we go to the color grading tab and I'm actually just noticing how amazing this footage actually looks because uh, this was shot inside a darkened party bus with a super bright light outside and that dynamic range is pretty amazing on a uh, pocket 4K. I may uh, have to start using this as my A camera again because that looks pretty good. So we change this to clip as shot and yeah, highlight recovery. And if you need to uh, make any changes, we'll do something simple and easy and just add a what. And there we go. We've got our uh, footage with our updated graphics or VFX that we added to it. <laughs> and we're able to do it using the uh, Cineon log, going from log to linear, doing our effects and then going from linear back to log using the Cineon log node. So I will see you in the next node breakdown.